Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me on my YouTube and Rumble channels today. This video is being pre-recorded. Today is April the 19th and it will be released on April the 20th. The reason for this is because I am undergoing eye surgery, having a cataract removed. And so the next couple of videos will also be pre-recorded. I want to take a minute just to thank all of you who have been encouraging me to continue to release the prophetic words the Lord has been giving me to the body of Christ. I thank you for your support. I thank you for your prayers. And I pray the Lord will use these words to bless those who hear it because we know the Lord's intention is to build his church, to strengthen his church, to encourage the body of Christ. For those of you who are new to this channel, please take a minute to subscribe and click the notification bell for further videos. The word released on April the 19th spoke of the Lord's intention to pour out his joy upon his people. The word today seems to be connected with that word and further encourages us that the heart of God is to bless his people, to pour out his love and abundance upon us. And so though this word may seem a little repetitive, I trust it is because many are struggling and need to hear these words at this time. The Bible tells us that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, and peace, and that as we grow in the Lord, we will take on these characteristics. The word today is titled, Bearing Fruit. May it bless you as you listen. I'll begin by reading scripture. John 10, verse 10. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. These are the words of Jesus telling us that he is rescuing us from the destructive work of the enemy and bringing us into the fullness of life. Isaiah 43 verse 19 See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. This scripture verse encourages us that though there may have been a wilderness that we have gone through and a time of dryness in our lives, the Lord is changing that. Newness is springing up. The Lord is restoring us. I'll begin reading this word. Hope. I am giving you hope in this day unlike you have known. I am placing in front of you an abundance of blessing, says the Lord. Eat of my goodness, partake of the good food available to you. Feast on the fruit of righteousness and the bread of life. There has been no time like this in all of time. There will be nothing like it again. Multitudes in the valley of decision are turning their heads to behold the beauty of the Lord. They are finding no hope in the life that they live, and they are reaching out for more. I hear their cries for help, and I am sending them those who will be faithful to proclaim to them the message of hope, those who will steer them toward the Father and Son. I am the hope of the nations, the bright morning star. Draw near to me, and I will draw near to you. Draw life from me. 
Do not lean on your own strength. Do not attempt to achieve by the power of your will, but surrender your will and your ways to the Lord, and he will cause you to prosper in the land that he is giving you. Lift up your eyes to him. Drink of me. Drink deeper from the fountain of life that is flowing. Take of its life-giving waters. I am doing a new thing. Every green shoot shall spring to life. I am increasing my capacity in those who seek me, says the Lord. I am visiting them in unprecedented ways. They are experiencing my love and joy in measures unfamiliar to the past. For I am pouring out an abundance from the storehouses of heaven, and every branch that is grafted into me is bearing fruit. You will see this amongst you, an abundant display of life and joy bubbling up from deep within those who are mine. Every barrier is coming down, and these shall enter into the fullness of life and joy available through the sun. Eyes are being opened to see the abundance that is available, and just a taste will whet the appetite for more. I am breaking down every wall, says the Lord, removing every barrier that has prevented my people from entering into the fullness of my presence. Every binding that has held them bound is being snapped off, and they are being loosed, set free to leap and dance and rejoice in me as calves released from the stall. This is the day, this is the hour of great rejoicing for the children of God. For they have broken through the barrier that has held them back, and they are entering the Father's presence with thanksgiving and praise, an acceptable offering unto the Lord. And these will not be held back, but they shall go forth in the power and anointing endued upon them in the Father's presence, and take the joy of the Lord and the vitality of life they've received into the streets, into the highways and byways as a testimony to the world of the Father's goodness. This word once again encourages us that the Lord's intention is to bless his people to bring us into abundant life, to cause us to flourish and to bear fruit for his kingdom. And once again, this fruit includes joy, abundant joy, and abundant life. The Lord is giving us instruction on how to enter into this abundant life. He's telling us that as we draw near to him, he will draw near to us. He is encouraging us to drink of him, to drink from the fountain of life that he has released. And yes, we may have been discouraged, but the Lord is telling us that he is doing a new thing and that it will spring up. And that new thing is the bubbling up of joy from deep within his people because he is stripping down the walls and getting rid of the obstacles and the things that have bound us and held us back. As we come into the Father's presence, we will receive vitality of life and to be an example and take this joy into the streets as a testimony of what God has done. I don't know about you, but I appreciate this word from the Lord, encouraging me that he is doing the work because it is his desire to see his people functioning in fullness of life 
I hope this word encourages you as well. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon and we'll see you again in the next video. Be blessed. Bye for now.